Hey y'all, so right now we're getting some meal prep done. This is actually what we do to do a make-ahead breakfast because we have to get up really early in the mornings, right? Yeah. So we like to take our breakfast to go and we get it ready the night before. So one of my favorite things to do a make-ahead on is overnight oats. And if you look at a lot of your online recipes, a lot of things have added honey and sugar, fruits, um, which can really start adding to the sugar content. So I like to create an overnight oat recipe that's really high protein, high fiber, and still on the lower carb end. So I'm gonna show you how I make that. So I just have here one of the big containers of the old fashioned oats. You can use steel cut oats, you can use whatever you have on hand. So do you like oatmeal, Laura? You do? Yeah. So oatmeal has a lot of fiber um, and it does have a lot of carbs. So we're trying not to add too, too much. We're trying to make sure that our protein is the star of the show. So I'm gonna add, um, I'm actually gonna make two of these ahead of time. So one will be for me, one will be for my husband. And if he ends up not eating one or I end up not eating one, yeah, he'd like one, then these last for several days. So some people even will make um, maybe five of these ready for the work week, all ready to go. So I've added a third of a cup of oats to each one of these. Um, to that, I'm gonna add equal parts milk and I suggest you use something that is a low sugar milk, like an unsweetened almond milk, unsweetened coconut milk. I like this protein blend from Silk because it has 10 grams of protein um, from almond milk, cashew milk, and pea protein, and it's low carb. So this whole thing, when we put it all together, comes out to be a little over 20 grams of protein and just under 20 grams of carbs. And someone is snacking on the granola. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're the taste tester. I'm gonna do just a splash more milk in here. So it depends on how thick you like it as to how much milk you're gonna add to this. Um, this is gonna thicken it up quite a bit as well. So I like to take whatever flavored Greek yogurt I have on hand and that gives these oats a lot of flavor. If you don't have yogurt and you wanna add some flavor to it, you can use things like vanilla extract. I've used almond extract before. You can even use stuff like cinnamon, um, nuts, seeds, maybe a little bit of berries, but try not to do too heavy on all those fruits or honeys because then it starts really racking up in the carb content. So I'm just gonna split this. I'm gonna use half the container for one and half the container for the other. Um, and what this does, if you've never made overnight oats before, is instead of having to cook this, it just sits all night long and with the oats being saturated in this liquid, makes it soften overnight. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you can have some. So the other thing I'm gonna add in here to add to this protein is a little bit of collagen powder. And collagen is kind of the latest and greatest superfood uh, trend or fad right now. So collagen is an important building block in our diet. And it's kind of hard to get some of these protein source, these collagen sources from our natural food source. Um, so it comes, it's in heavily prevalent in bone marrow. So if you're doing stuff like maybe a chicken stock, or if you eat any kind of fish that still have the bones in it, um, eggshells, of course, if you're doing some kind of stock or cooking with that, you'll get it. But other than that, it's kind of hard to find. So getting a collagen supplement that has multiple strands in it can help fortify your nutrition. Um, you could also add this if you're looking to up your fiber intake, just a minute, some flax seeds or chia seeds. No, um, some nuts or seeds as well could go into that. And then the last little piece we're gonna add in here, and this is just for flavor and added crunch, is some of this low carb granola that Mora um, is having a hard time <laughs> resisting. So I'm going to add just a little sprinkle of this on top. Yeah. Can I put some sure. Bit? How about I do each one? Just for a little bit of flavor, and then we're going to let this sit overnight. So that's our overnight oats. We're just gonna put them in these little canisters and let them sit overnight in the fridge and we'll take them out to go in the morning. We'll have breakfast ready to go. Thanks for watching.